The next thing I want to show you is how to do a what's called a ground pour. Uh, so this usually the center pad is um, it not it's not necessarily electrically connected to a ground pin. Like let's say hypothetically speaking, this pin 16 is the ground pin for the chip itself. This pad underneath might actually just be a thermal pad. It might not actually be connected to ground. Uh, so in, in this case, uh, apparently I've made the the choice to assume that it is, or no, actually assume that it is not. So this is actually just, I'm assuming this is just going to be a thermal pad. So the way you do that is what, what we're going to do uh, is we go back up. Yeah, so, right. So what we do is uh, in the software, it's called a polygon pour. And so this isn't necessarily something that just has to be with the ground. You can do this with any net, um, any electrical connection. So we just click that and it comes up with the different choices. So we can do solid pour, which is what we're going to do. You can do hatched uh, or you can do none at all where it looks like an outline. Uh, I'm not really, I don't know why you would do this. Um, I'm not sure what the advantage of this is. So we're just gonna go with this. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we actually connect it to a particular net. So we want to actually choose 17 and top layer. We're just going to rename this as 17 top layer, uh, pour over same net polygons only. That's what we're going to choose. Click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the corner. You can see it changing into that little rounded circle. Click that once. Go to the other corner, left click that. And go to the other corner, left click that. So you can actually see there that blue trace is starting to form. Then I move it around, move it away, and it actually is the, uh, an orange line. So I could, if I wanted to, actually just do um, a nice triangle wedge. I don't know why you would, but you could. But you can you can actually just do various shapes. Like it doesn't have to be square, rectangular, or anything like that over the entire board. Uh, you can do it actually just uh, partial. So click the last one and move off to the side. Right click, and so now. And just poured actually I did something dumb so I put this on the wrong layer and yes you'll see this was actually intentional ha 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 so what we want to do is we want to uh, we'll actually go back click on the polygon pour and no, actually let's so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it and then right click and we're gonna click properties and we can actually go and change the layer. So we're actually going to put that on the bottom layer and click OK. And report. There we go. So I changed that to the bottom layer because these, you know, there's no, uh, there wasn't enough uh, space in between that would actually make a connection. And even if it did, it's got to go all the way around. So we changed it. So these are actually vias. So if I go to the uh, 3D layer, and flip it around you can actually see these are uh, vias that go through it now well, center one's not actually connected but we can yeah that's not that important so they actually go to the bottom layer so the idea of this is that uh, the copper can actually act as a heat sink let's say this is like a, a motor controller uh, we'll actually use the, the, this entire board to dissipate the, the, the thermal energy into the copper layer 